What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we are going to take a look at a new secret hidden triumph which I actually believe may be a placeholder until the DLC drops. It is a little weird but yeah you know you will see that. Uh, a few new epic new mods coming, a new trailer and a few other bits and bobs definitely worth discussing and talking about about people but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe firstly let me apologize for the lack of videos over the past few days my pc kind of had a meltdown so i had to build a new one literally only got it today i was sweating that i wasn't going to get it in time for the black armor dlc i mean i had to make some dirty moves not gonna lie to you guys but i have one and it's a beast and i am effing ready for the black armory people now i apologize if i'm a little late on anything i am covering today like i said PC problems. Okay, so first up we have what seems to be a seriously weird triumph. Now the way it's unlocked isn't weird at all, it's extremely difficult, but it isn't weird. The medal is called Insert Medal here. Yeah, I know. This is why I'm thinking it may be a placeholder item for when the DLC drops. I mean, I don't know why when the DLC drops, I mean, we have had an update which applied such medals, but I just find it weird how it has no icon. But in saying that, the background to what we see to this medal is different to everything else, so I ain't sure. But to get this insert medal here medal, you have to get 50 kills in PvP without dying. Yes, 50 kills in a single life, obviously including assist too, because as we know, assist counts as kills in Destiny 2. I mean, my pal, who is a beast at PvP, dude has two of these, but for the likes of me, it ain't ever happening. Along with this medal, you also get this, I made this for you medal, Shax made this for you, awarded upon earning, insert medal here. Yeah. So looking at this, I think it might actually be called insert medal here, yeah. absolutely crazy. All I know is this is one medal most of us won't ever see. Now 50 death streak, a walk in the park. But yeah people, this is how you get this weird new secret medal. 50 kills in PvP without dying. Absolutely crazy. To mention quickly, we knew new medals were being added, that's for sure. We just didn't know what they were and how they were obtained. But this is how you get this one. Massive thanks to Dark Arm Games for sharing this info with me. Him and his clan are recruiting by the way, so if you are looking for a clan and you are a talented PvE or PvP player, you may want to check out the link within the video description. The clan's name is Respawn Restriction 2, played with a few of the dudes and they are good lads, so you will definitely enjoy your time playing with these if you do need a clan. So do check them out via the link in the video description. Okay, so we're going to move on and we have seen a few new mods added into the loot pool. Well upon Black Armour's release. These you can see on screen now and I believe these are only a few of what will be coming new to us. Quick access sling. Swap weapons much faster for a short duration after emptying the magazine. I can see this being seriously useful in PvP that is for sure. Surrounded spec increases the damage granted by surrounded. Bonus damage lingers for a brief time when no longer surrounded by three or more guardians. Okay. Dragonfly spec increases the radius and damage of Dragonfly. This will be cool, just depends on the actual increase we see. Rampage spec increases the duration of Rampage. What? If you guys have the breakneck, you know what I am thinking. And then we have the sprint grip. Temporary increases the weapon's ready speed and aim down sight speed after sprinting. Another great PvP mod there. Now these are all I've seen so far. Know that there are more and even more when the DLC drops. I can't wait people. Okay, so we're going to move on. Have you guys seen the latest trailer? Here it is right now. What we offer, Guardian, is privilege. Today, it would seem our doors are open to you. Welcome to the Black Armory. One of our finest. You're unstoppable! A fine choice.
that one will last you. you're looking for. to showcase many things which we have seen and already know about new exotics new legendaries etc etc one thing i did notice which is definitely a talking point the new exotic sniper rifle there is an argy's burden a primary weapon what now if you didn't know and are seeing this trailer for the first time and seeing this weapon for the first time yes it is capable of one hit into the body this exotic has a special perk which allows you to stack all four shots from a single clip and shoot them as one you do this by holding down that reload button when you have a full clip of 4. The next shot does increased damage and is capable of one-shotting guardians in PvP to the body. Wow. Interesting though is how it's been made a primary weapon with no burn. We can see that via this image on screen now. I 100% guarantee though people it will still use special ammo. But even so, an exotic sniper with so much potential has no elemental burn type. I wonder whose choice that was. And I'd love to know why. We also got to see the name of the new fusion. What's known as the Arm Blaster Exotic. It's called the Jotun. Pretty cool. And lastly guys, we got a brief glimpse of the last word. Oh baby, I cannot wait to be team shot with this thing. Fun times ahead people, fun times indeed. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Short but sweet. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I will turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.